So I'm filming an Avengers inspired makeup tutorial. I wanted to do something a bit different rather than the A. I wanted to kind of do their logos with like a cut crease kind of vibe. So I think I'm going to put some liner here, blend it out, let's see how we go. I am sorry if I am not in the chirpiest of moods today. Obviously I'm excited to film this Avengers makeup tutorial and have a play with it and discuss the film. So yes, in this video there will be some spoilers. So if you don't want to kind of hear about the film and you haven't seen it yet, then please don't watch the rest of this video. I don't mind. Watch it after you've seen the movie because I will be discussing my full thoughts on the film with lots of spoilers. But yeah, I'm just not in the best mood today. You know, just feel kind of deflated. You know, and you just kind of feel a bit like, bleh, and like deflated and you need people who are close to you to be lovey and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is pop this black liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills kind of through the crease but not as high as usual because I'm gonna blend it up. Never done this before so it should be interesting and then just blend it up until it's nice and diffuse and then put the logos on top. Should be interesting but we'll give it a go. Then I'm just gonna pull it out of the outer corner and then just add some more product so it's kind of like same thickness all the way through. Then the palette I'm going to use, I was going to use the James Charles palette in this video but I just feel very conflicted um, and there's a lot of controversy so I don't really want to use the palette right now um, but I'm going to use the Morphe Dare to Create 39A palette which is just as amazing and um, there's not a lot of bright colours in it, they're quite dark but I'm going to use the black right here at the bottom just to kind of like smoke out this line very carefully and I'm probably going to use, I don't know what shade I'm going to use yet but I'm going to take the black just to smudge it out and I'm going to take it on a little pencil brush. I have no idea how this look is going to go in my head so this is me just completely winging it. I'm just having some therapy by playing with makeup but I'm just basically going to smudge right over that black liner. It's going to be a very long process but I basically want this to be nice and diffused and then put the logos kind of like on top of the black and have the lid kind of bare. We shall see. So the next shade that I'm going to take is this one here called Silver Lining from the Beauty Bay Nudes Palette. And it's a really pretty like shimmery silver. And I've decided I'm going to use that to try and blend out the black. I don't know how this is going to go, but we'll give it a go. I'm just taking a little blending brush. I'm just going to try and use this to blend out the black. I can always add on more to intensify it later. I'm just doing one eye at a time because I have no idea how this is going to turn out. It's actually worked out very interestingly and it's kind of done like a silvery spacey look which is perfect for the Avengers theme look. Taking that right up to the brow bone. Then I'm going to go back in with my pencil brush. Just take more of that black shade to deepen up the crease. Just intensify all of this. Then I'm going to go back in and just try and diffuse this a little bit more. Now I'm just going to cut the crease. Sorry this isn't a very like instructional tutorial. I'm just honestly playing with some makeup and trying to create a look. So I just wanted to film it for you guys. But I'm going to cut the crease using my Bella Pierre makeup base. And I'm going to bring it all the way out to the end. And I'm going to set the lid using my Revolution powder. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with the other eye put on. Um, this eye didn't go as well as this eye. It's a bit of a weird day. But I'm now going to carry on with the logos. I don't think I'll be able to talk much through this because I'm just kind of trying to copy the pictures. I'm going to start with Iron Man's logo and put it like 
here. I th I don't think I'm going to go for this maybe another time. Um, I'm going to go for his arc reactor and I'm going to do it in red. So I'm basically just going to copy this little thing right here and pop it on my eye. So let's just go. And I'm going to be using some aqua paints for this. I find these are the best things to do for like creative makeup just because they're so intense and you don't have to like spend ages playing with them. But I'm going to take this red one from Cryolin. wet a cotton bud and carefully oh my god I'm ruining everything okay I've just messed up the middle of the circle okay I'm gonna fill in the middle of this circle with some concealer because I messed it up and we are gonna try again I need to invest in some smaller brushes because this is hard. Okay, I think I've got it, but I'm just going to go over all of the lines from far away. It doesn't look like a splotch, but up close. Arc reactor. Next, I'm going to do Captain America, and I'm going to pop him right here. I'm just going to do his shield, which looks like this. I think I'm going to try and do a bigger circle because the inside details are very difficult, and I only have a certain amount of brushes. So let's try and do this, and I'm going to pop that right here. I think this is actually going to be the most difficult one because I don't know. Okay, right, we're going to go in with the red to start off with. Now I'm going to go in with some white to like go around the shield. This looks awful but I am practicing you guys. Now I'm going to do the blue like around the star. I feel like I need to actually fill in the gaps on the arc reactor so it looks a little bit more like prominent. I'm happy with the Captain America one. The arc reactor the arc reactor looks a bit weird. Okay, for Hulk, I'm going to pop him here in this little space somehow. I'm going to do this one here, which is like his radiation logo. So whip out my black and my green face paints and I am quickly running out of brushes. Okay, here comes Hulk. I'm going to do a kind of... Now I'm going to go in with the black and I'm going to start with a little circle in the middle. I think the green still needs to dry a little bit. Now I'm going to do the outline. Okay, then I'm going to do the little line thingies. I'm going to touch up the logos after I finish filming the video but next I'm going to go ahead and do Black Widow which is a yellow circle with like an hourglass symbol in the middle and I'm going to pop that on the other eye right here. I think I wasn't recording, but I'm doing Hawkeye's logo right in the middle here. Okay. 
the next thing I'm going to do is Thor's hammer which is going to go here and I have no idea how I'm going to do this but we are going to give it a good old go. I've decided I'm going to try doing this one with a pen eyeliner. don't know if this is a good or a bad idea but here we go. Okay, that was so much easier with the liner. Now I'm just going to use the face paint to kind of like just make it dark. Hopefully this doesn't ruin anything. So after this very long winded situation i am basically just going to go do the rest of my face makeup touch it up a little bit and come back to show you the makeup look and also just talk a little bit about avengers um i have face paint everywhere and all over my desk be right back with a full face of glam and touched up eyes Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. There's a little bit of smudging on the lid and there are some improvements that could be made to some of the logos. This is just me getting into my creative rhythm. It was quite good for me just to play with makeup and just have a bit of therapy. But yeah, I really like the way this looked, I guess. I kind of want the red to be stronger here. I am very happy with the Captain America logo, even though I thought it was gonna be the hardest one. But yeah, so I'm just gonna give you my thoughts on Avengers Endgame. So, I was so freaking excited for that film, like, I was more excited than Nick was. I've now seen it three times, twice in 2D, 2D, and one in 3D. It's definitely worth seeing it in 3D, I think it just adds to the film, but it's just as, amaz as amazing in 2D as well. There were some sad things in the film, obviously Iron Man is dead. To be completely honest, like, obviously that scene was really, really freaking sad, like, and then you had Spider-Man, like, he came out and he hugged him, and then Iron Man hugged Spider-Man, and it was very cute and emotional, and I did, was, did get a bit soppy, I didn't cry my eyes out, just because I kind of had it in my head that I thought he would go, just because he was the first, like, film and all that kind of stuff so I just kind of had a feeling he would go but then I really liked I picked up on in the second time I watched it the big fight scene at the end like where they're like about to die Doctor Strange like goes like this at Iron Man as in like we have one way to win this and then he figures it out and I'm like Ooh! I only noticed that the second time watching it. I felt like Captain America was the best Avenger in that film. He is just so noble and amazing and beautiful and he is very hopeless, he's a very hopeless romantic and he cares about, um, oh my god I've forgotten her name. I have forgotten her name. Peggy? Is it Peggy? I want to say Peggy. Anyway, I've forgotten her name, but um, yeah, he's just like wanted to see her. And at the end, he like goes off and like marries her, and oh, I just love it. It's just so perfect. And he's the best Avenger ever. The best one. Um, boys, out of the girls, Scarlet Witch. I loved how powerful like they show that she is in the film. Like when Thanos is like, I don't even know who you are, and she's like you will and she like destroys him and basically the only way he manages to beat her is because he just goes on a suicide mission and pulls those missiles from a ship down so if that doesn't show how powerful scarlet witch is then i don't know what does um also captain marvel sick as well the only way thanos beat her was taking a freaking infinity stone and punching her with it she is sick she is so sick. But anyway, that film was a full-on 10 out of 10. Like, there is nothing I would have changed about that film. Part, as you know, as you know, 9 out of 10. Purely because I feel like they should have given a little bit more to Black Widow's death. Like, rather than just, like, them crying on the ledge thingy. Like, an actual proper funeral. I feel like she deserved that. Maybe at the end with Iron Man. That's my thoughts on Avengers Endgame. Um, if you have any questions, maybe tweet me about it chival makeup biz just because i feel like the comments like maybe people could skip the spoilers in the video i don't want to ruin it for anyone but yeah i really hope you enjoyed watching this video i know it wasn't very like instructional but it's just because it was so fiddly and it's really hard for me to explain what i'm doing and i don't really even know what i'm doing i'm just playing with makeup but if you did enjoy this video please give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll just see you next time thanks so much for watching bye okay anyway back on to the tutorial i'm really sorry to be a mess and my dog wants to go outside. I'll be two seconds. Out the black? Oh, I don't know if it's going to work. Now I'm going to need a grey. Oh my god, I'm so all over the place in this video. Ugh.
sorry for me being all over the place in this video. I'm just not trying. I'm, I'm gonna touch up the little logos kind of after I finish just filming this. Wow, what? But yeah, that's the thoughts on my my film. I didn't make the film. <laughs>